está, ya está, está grabando. I think we got a shot. This is at ISO 2000, so it's really high. Uh, but I'm shooting at f4, so I'm hoping this is enough. Um, I, I like this. I like the smoke. I like everything. So let's hope it looks good in the computer. What's up, guys? So I had the idea of making an urban street photography portraits video, but you know, just suck the time, I guess. It's way too late now. The sun, as you, I don't know if you can even tell, it looks blown out here, but it's pretty much sunset right now. I, I can't see the sun anymore, and I love getting the sun for like some cool highlights or so in the subjects when I'm doing portraiture. So uh, lesson learned, definitely take your time when you're gonna do some photos. So I think we can all learn from this, <laughs> uh, especially with me, but I feel like I do this all the time. This was all last minute. My friends were totally down. I hit them up, I'm like, yo, let's go. Uh, but well, it turns out we're a little bit too late. Now this video is gonna turn into urban night portrait photography. Okay, so this one seems like it might work. We got a bunch of lights in the back, which will turn into some nice bokeh maybe. Uh, but we got this nice light right here and some form of a background. So let's see what we make. Okay. So the cool thing about this is you have to learn to play with the light. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know a couple things. So all I'm really looking is for lights that will light up our subject since we lost our sun, which was our main light or hair light. So yeah, let's keep going and hopefully we find something else. It's all about finding stuff. Let's go. All right guys, so I didn't really like the other photos. There wasn't a lot of depth. That wall kind of seems like just blocking everything out. Here, I like this light. To, we're using this to light him and the composition is actually really cool. So we're getting this top lighting, kind of gives them that mobster look. And then this, I mean, all of this looks really, really dope. It really gets that urban look to it. So let's keep shooting. Yes, sir. It's more than more. <laughs> nice. I think we got a shot. This is at ISO 2000. So it's really high, uh, but I'm shooting at F4. So I'm hoping this is enough. Um, I, I like this. I like the smoke. I like everything. So let's hope it looks good in the computer. Okay. All right, so we just walked into this parking garage just right below where we were at. Um, but the ceiling looks super dope. There's a lot of light in here, thankfully. Um, so I think this leading line, um, this really cool architecture on the roof, is going to really help us out. And uh, so caminar hacia mí. You can tell from looking at his face. Uh, you can tell from looking at his face where the light is gonna hit. So right now he's in shadow and we want more light to hit him. So walk backwards, dude. Keep going, keep going. And you can see the light drastically. I've been changing. looking for the shadow side of his face. So I don't want to shoot on the light side of it because there's no depth. But if I shoot from this angle, it kind of makes it more interesting, more epic of a photo. So I'm having him dance around until we get the shot. <laughs> Around the world. Oh, oh, hey guys, so uh, through this spot, uh, I saw this driving by and I thought this would be really cool shooting it with me on the floor. Uh, so let's see how it works. Again, we're looking for, hey wait, <laughs> so we're looking for light to light our subject just so obviously he's not lost in the night. So let's see what we get. <laughs> This was way harder than I thought. Uh, it was totally improvised. Uh, we lost the light, so I really didn't have anything in mind. We are just looking for spots of light with lamps. And this thing only does that 2.8. So a lot of it was dragging the shutter like that last shot. Uh, but that one was more for the stylistic look, but I was shooting like a, a hundredth of a second, you know, pretty, pretty low. And my ISO has been pretty high for the most part. So let's see how that turns out. Um, again, ideally you want to find lights, shoot wide open as much as you can for more light and you would want to keep that ISO as low as possible and your shutter speed enough to not get a blurry photo. You know, unless you're going for that stylistic look in some way. But yeah, I mean, 
I think I got at least one shot. Definitely one shot. Let's see what we got. Mira, 